Hello everyone, and welcome to Beam Saber the Cenotaph, part nine. We are in it, and this stream, as always, is presented by You Don't Meet in an Inn, an actual play podcast about exploring obscure tabletop role-playing games with a diverse, rotating cast. I am your host this evening, Austin Ramsey. I am also the creator of Beam Saber. My pronouns are he, him, and you can find me on Twitter at not an in. Today, I am joined by Takuma. Hi, I'm Takuma. Um, my Twitter is at Takuma underscore Okada underscore. My pronouns are they, them. Um, yeah. Anything you want to promote? Uh... Yeah, I, I have my uh, itch up there right now in SoundCloud, so there's music and games on there. Nice. I am also joined by Sasha. Hi, I'm Sasha. You can find me on Twitter at Sasha underscore right now, and you can find all my game, game dev stuff at TCabbage. Awesome. And is your uh, spindle beta still going? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can find it at uh, tinyurl.com slash spindlewheel dash open beta. Cool. You might want to pop that into the chat for anyone who's curious. Sure. And I am also joined by Ray. Hello, I'm Ray. I use they, them pronouns, and you can find me on Twitter at RayRayTheGayGay. Um, not doing much on there, but I'm currently working on a tabletop game about haunted objects and the people that possess them. <laughs> nice. And also, of course, as always, Sean. Hello, everybody. I'm Sean. My pronouns are he and him. You can find me at Hyena Spots with a Z on Twitter and most places on the internet. I paint miniatures and show pictures. Stay in school. <laughs> Gives good life advice. All right. I'm Thank doing my you best. very much. <laughs> so we are going to jump over to the play screen because we are. In it today. <laughs> Win it. Oh, we are so in it. Yeah. So the thing we are winning is more trauma. <laughs> God. <laughs> so this is gonna go so badly. Demon, where did we leave off with you? Um, I am currently. I was helping to fix this chapel, and I had run some people off, uh, who were saying hey you should help us because we're dying and being crushed by rubble and we just said nah you'll be all right <laughs> <laughs> yep tower where are you at um i think i'm currently like trying to not die by like in in the cause of protecting some some good good medics our uh, spades friends. Yeah, a medic. Yep, a medic team Sorry. from uh, Doctors Beyond Stars came in on a drop ship and landed and uh, began unloading. Yeah, and I had to, like, I did a very bad job at convincing the population of this town and also a certain someone to um, <laughs> let these doctors through. You tried. And, and that's... I'm very scared of that certain someone. <laughs> uh, 
Spade, what's going on with you? I'm in a dragon. Slow <laughs> <laughs> no digestion. You are in a dragon, which is still alive. Uh-huh. Yeah, you've gone full fantastic voyage. I did this on purpose. Um, I'm trying to fix its insides, and I have a very handy tether on me that is leading to the outside of the dragon that's currently not attached to anything. I don't know that. <laughs> but, but, you know. Tower Actually, was supposed to be holding on to it, but pressing matters appeared. Well, Lastly, we all have our priorities. <laughs> oh, wow, thanks. <laughs> Lastly, Pitchfork, what's going on with you? Uh, I dug some people out of the rubble, and then I went off to help help tower, and I almost got stabbed. Woo! Yep. Having, having fun. The woman leading this mob at the uh, front of them. She, uh, You got real close that you could use your empathic abilities on her and to try and better understand her and the mob. And what you picked up from them was that most of the crowd were fearful. But there were a few amongst them that uh, felt opportunistic or ambitious, including the woman leading them. And it was difficult before because it's nighttime. It's uh, probably like two or three in the morning and there's not very good lighting in this town of Wander. Most of the lighting, frankly, is probably coming from the fires that still burn as the dragon, the, there are some flames, some strange colored flames burning around the town that aren't spreading, but their heat alone is setting other things on fire and those other fires do spread. At times. Yeah. Oh, also, of course, the smell of bleach and roses permeates the town along with the smell of burning stuff. The smell of bleach and roses. I'm fucked. Bleach and roses being especially strong around the dragon and its burst gland, which has been uh, mended? Patched up by Spade? From the inside. Mended being a loose term. No. Not not loose. Very concrete and very physical. Hmm. <laughs> it's a dragon, though. Yeah, but I, I applied that medicine myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I believe in you. So, Pitchfork. We're gonna come back to you. Because... You didn't, weren't able to get a very good look at this woman, as I mentioned with the bad lighting. But now that you are so close to her, only about a uh, bit less than an arm's length away, <laughs> as you <sighs> discovered the hard way, uh, she is, uh, she's got a lithe build. She's probably in her mid to late 30s. She's got a uh, She's like a light-skinned black woman. She's got curly purple hair. And as you look at her, you realize that she's familiar. You remember her name. You can't recall her last name, but her name's Hannah. She was one of the older kids that got swept up in the draft years ago. And what she has to show for it, as far as you can tell, is how to handle a knife and a big burn scar which covers like probably about 25% of the right side of her face and she has a very angry look on her face and you've just de deflected well you didn't so much deflect the knife as your armor did oh wait did you resist as well I believe, yes, yes, you turned the blade and then your armor did the rest of the work. So. Oh, there we go. Sorry, my internet ah. stable for a second. What, uh, what did you last catch? Uh, the burn scar? 
Yes. So she has a very angry look on her face and in front of an angry crowd of people. Mm -hmm. Or at least they appear to be angry, but you know that they're actually fearful for the most part. And she's got a knife in her hand. What do you do? I want to disarm her. <laughs> Fair. Oh, no. So how are you going to do that? Oh, boy. Uh, I probably want to... I think I want to wait for her to try again and then, like, catch her arm and, like, I don't know, twist. Make her drop the knife. That kind of thing. Which is... That's a struggle? Yeah. That absolutely would be a struggle. Um, this will be risky. <laughs> and you will have limited effect. Boo. No, that's, yeah. Okay. Uh, do I have... I do not have anything. Um... Okay, risky, limited, struggle... Oh, you're not doing anything to uh, improve either of those? Uh, mm, I... I don't know. <laughs> What's your stress at? It's at five, which isn't too bad, but... We still have a whole session to go. Yeah, yeah that's over halfway full. Well, we have ten now, so it is exactly half. Thankfully. Oh yeah, y'all got composed. I thought we had nine. No, we, we well, get the um, upgrade to the uh, squad so that we all have ten. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Sorry, I was being dumb. <laughs> you can spend nine safely, and your tenth puts you out. Yeah. Oh, okay. That yeah, that's why I was confused. Yeah. All right. So. You're going to go for just your struggle on its own? Yeah. yeah. All right. Here we go. Hey, that's a six. That's a six. Hey. And a one. And a one. <laughs> All right. Good thing you're good at struggle. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> so you... Let's see. That's a full success. Yeah. So you uh, wait for her to take another stab at it and uh. <laughs> she mm. uh, she switches the grip on her blade before she just had it um, sort of blade up uh, and she flips it so it's blade down and then goes to give you a see, seeing that you're in armor she goes to try and stab you in one of the joins probably um in like your abdomen in the side but you are good at fighting you're the soldier and so you what you do I, so what do you do to get the knife away from her so i think i like take a step in at the last moment and like pin in her arm like underneath mine and just like grab grab the wrist and just twist okay she drops the blade and as the two yeah, of you step on it <laughs> pardon i'm gonna step on the knife uh i think with limited effect you don't have that much control okay yeah so yeah so as as it hits the the uh pavement of wander uh and the two of you sort of struggle a bit back and forth uh, one of your feet knocks it somewhere into the dark. It's, you're unable to follow whether it went towards her people or towards the people you brought or where it's gotten to. But there's a loose knife. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, and she, she doesn't know it's you. You've got on a helmet from your environment suit. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, oh, mm-hmm. Which is also presumably armored as well. Well, actually, that's a good question. You have armor declared and an environment suit declared. Is the environment suit armored, or were you wearing armor over it, or under it, or...? Um, I think mine would be. 
Yeah, it probably would be armored. That seems reasonable. Alright. So yeah, I guess uh, you've probably got... Um, well, I guess whether or not you spend the load for heavy armor will determine whether or not the helmet's actually armored. <laughs> <laughs> but at the very least, the torso is. So uh, the two, as you struggle, the two of you uh, split up again. And she yells to the crowd, You see what these invaders try to do? You see how they manhandle us? And she's trying to rile up the people with her. Tower, Pitchfork, do either of you want to do anything? She... I mean, I just sort of want to point out that, like, you know... She just tried to stab them? Like, stabbing is generally not considered to be societally acceptable in most places. Um, and <laughs> it's generally also considered to be a violent action. So, you know, pointing Locked that out. Filthy interlopers. <laughs> <laughs> God. Um, yeah, I mean, I just sort of want to, like, Mm. I wanna... Can I have a second? I wanna try to find something on my vehicle equipment. You got out of your uh, vehicle. Yeah, no, I know. Um, as I was it, as wondering it. if I could do something as a flashback. Probably. Mm. But it's not something that I would have. Like, I wouldn't have recording equipment. And I wouldn't be able to control it at a fine enough sort of distance anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, um, well, hold on a second. Are you looking at your character sheet for the recording yeah. equipment? Okay. Because the character sheets are a little bit, they're like two versions behind. And I okay. believe I added in um, like espionage gear as a standard type of pilot gear. Mm -hmm. Yes, there it is, espionage gear. Listening devices, micro cameras, key readers, and other devices used to secretly observe the actions of others. Load yeah. one. I mean, I'm gonna have that. <clears throat> like, I'm me. <laughs> um, so can I mark that on just like the blank spaces? Yeah, absolutely. So, espionage gear. So what are you, how are you incorporating well, that? And I say that, would it be a flashback to say that I've been sort of just quietly filming what's been going on? Um, yes, it would. Would that be a flashback? Okay. Um, I'm just trying to think if that would be zero or one stress. Okay. Um, I can take either. I've got... Yeah. Six stress. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's zero stress. You had plenty okay. of opportunity and I think reason to uh, turn on the cameras, so to speak. Okay. Um, just because, like, I'm gonna try to point out that, oh shit, stabby stab. Um, and, you know, maybe don't listen to the person who just stabbed my friend. I don't know how to articulate that because I'm bad at mouth sounds, but... Okay, what do you... Uh, let's see. I think that'll give you standard effect, bringing out that gear. Well, so, no, because I have the harm humiliated. <laughs> so it's actually just going to be limited because you hate me. Right, okay. Uh, so this will be risky limited then. Fuck. What do you want to okay. roll? Um... I would like to assist. Okay. Because I was going to say that would be Sway. Yeah, that could so definitely that, be I'm Sway. Not lying. Sway doesn't have to be about lying. It's about yeah. trying to actively convince someone of something. Yeah, then I think this is what that is. Okay. And how are you assisting, Demon? Um, I think uh, at some point I gave, since this is in the past, I gave Tower a pep talk, you know, and I was just like, look, you've got this. If, uh, you know, we're going to be in a civilian area, 
keep eyes on what's going on. Um, you know, I trust you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, okay. So, what's uh, your connection with Tower? Two. So, one die and increase effect. Yes, please. There you go. Risky <laughs> you. standard. Hey, uh, there you go. So what do you show the footage on? This, uh, I this, mean, I think... This I think instant it replay. Just, it might just be like a little, like... Not a, like, a, like a hand projector, almost? Or like a phone or something like that? Like, I just... I'm wondering if... I mean, you could just show oh. it on a smartphone. No, I have a better idea, because... You know when we talked about um, my Avi having a hard light shell that could like play images and things? Ah, okay. I think I broadcast it on my Avi. <laughs> okay. So, due to your skillful positioning of your Avi and its camera, and a bit of a little bit of luck from the lighting, yeah. you're able to clearly show that Hannah tried to stab Pitchfork first. That this isn't as confused as she may want it to seem. The two of you can see her gritting her teeth as uh, the crowd is um, sort of confused by her actions. Uh, so yeah, I am going to, this isn't going to, hmm, this will decrease Wander's distrust, and it'll, uh, will this increase Wander's, no, this is not going to increase Wander's goodwill, but it will decrease Wander's distrust by two ticks, so it's back to zero. Good shit. Okay. Hey, competence. <laughs> uh, so yes, the crowd are sort of like questioning their like they're they're still clearly not happy about all of you outsiders being in their little town. Yeah. But with this reveal of uh, their leaders, uh less than uh, unproblematic actions they're taking some time to sort of like mutter to each other about like hmm. is is she are we sure she's right like should I mean they are medics should we just let them through so there, there's some pause as they try and sort out what they want to do Look, I, I understand... Can I be saying this in character? Yeah. Like, I understand that you're hesitant to allow people in your community, and I get that. Um, I don't have a way to make a promise more convincing than what I've already tried. But if if you will... Would you be willing to grant these medics access under your supervision um, to ensure that they are not interfering with the goings-on of your community if if this will allow them to assist with the people that need it? Um, let's see. Hmm, actually, you know what? I'm not going to decrease, decrease Wander's distrust all the way. Yeah, I was it's, saying. I was going to say. I was going to say, but you have a controlled position now. Okay. Because since they're not being whipped up quite so badly. Yeah, okay. Um, so, yes, you, you are in a controlled, I think, standard effect. So, controlled limited? Uh, yes. Fuck. Since you're um. in rough shape. <sighs> I don't want to push. <laughs> um, I'm just going to take the 1d6, control limited. Uh, 
Hold limited sway. It's a four. A four. Okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think someone else from the crowd says, yeah, that, that seems okay. All right. <laughs> and, uh, they let the medics through and they sort of surround them. It's a little threatening, but they also aren't interfering with the medics as they head into town and the lead medic is already like taking charge of them being like you we're gonna need water go get it and telling another person like uh we're going to need digging supplies i'm glad to see you already have picks just uh yeah <laughs> so i think that that's going to increase wander's distrust by one because as effective as that is, that is someone from outside coming in and telling them what to do, even okay. if it is fair. the thing that is good and correct. That comes out in the wash. Yep. Yeah. Demon. Hey, at least they're actually able to do their shit now. Yep. So, Demon, you are helping out to hold up this cathedral that is semi-constructed. Yeah. What are you going to do? Are you just going to continue helping out with this? Oh, I I don't know. I'm having second thoughts. Um, <laughs> I think at uh, some point I am going to be like up on top of the cathedral in Hopper or something. I don't know if that's feasible, but like uh, from a higher vantage point. Um... Hmm. If not, that's fine. Yeah, I don't like this is the lar one of maybe the largest building in town. Okay. And it is under construction. Sure. Um I want to um get out of Hopper then and climb up there and take a look around. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to have you roll for this because there's scaffolding. Okay. So there's the monks that are working along the scaffolding. They give you the odd glance of wondering what you're doing, mm -hmm. but they can tell you're Celestial Myriad because you're wearing your uniform, correct? Yes. Yeah, I would yeah. be. And does your uniform actually mark you as like a chaplain, or? Um, I... no. I used to be a priest, but I am not any longer. Yeah. So it's just a, a celestial myriad military uniform then. Yeah. All right. So they can see you. So they don't interfere with you, but you get some weird looks as you move your way, as you make your way up the scaffolding. And. You get to the highest point, which is the mostly finished bell tower. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The only thing really missing is the uh, pointed roof on top and the stained glass eight-pointed star that will be added as the finishing touch after the tower is complete. What do you, you're just looking around up here? Yeah, uh, you said it's raining and whatnot, so um, let me take a quick look. Do I have something that can be used for binoculars? I don't see it in the gear. Is there some sort of gear that would, uh, hmm. like something that would let me look around? Yeah, um, that's not a, I'm not sure if that's a, I mean, obviously it's not a standard thing and it's not an officer thing. Let me just 
check because it might be a scout thing. Oh. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Scout rangefinder slash laser painter binoculars. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So that's a piece of scout gear. Well then. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a look in the rain then. <laughs> All right. Are you looking for anything in particular? Um, I can't. Well, I was looking at the the questions that are available, and um, I'm thinking like, what's really going on here? Like, what's you know, like getting the details of the dragon and this crowd doing stuff and these monks working on the church, like what should I be doing? What, okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, <laughs> what do you plan on rolling? Survey. Survey. Okay. Um, controlled limited. Okay. Can I push it to risky standard? Oh yeah, with swapping position for effect. Yeah, because like I am up on top of the scaffolding in the rain, and how do you, how does how is that shown? Um, I think <coughs> I think I'm like looking around, and uh, uh, you know we just see her, and he's just like, damn it, <laughs> um, and then he like climbs up a little bit further than he, maybe he should. Uh, to to get a look. Okay, risky standard. Parkour. All right, here we go. Oh no! <laughs> That's two ones. Oh, that was the worst you could have rolled. And then Demon fell to his death. <laughs> oh. uh, no. Um. Or demon resists and gets another trauma. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think you. Uh... Let's see. I, I, I think what happens is you are climbing up, and you, as you said, it's dark and it's raining, and you lose your footing on the uh. like you're climbing up on. You move beyond the scaffolding itself, and you start clinging to the stone of the cathedral. Mm. And then you or lose... not clinging. As yeah, the, <laughs> the rain slick stone slips out from beneath your fingertips, and you fall. And you manage to just catch yourself on the uh, on the scaffolding on one of the bars of the scaffolding. So take level one harm stretched, and okay. you are in a desperate position. Stretched? <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Okay. I hate that. We are not having a weaver situation here. I don't need this. I'm stretched and lonely. Oh, no. <laughs> um, the... I, I think at this point I need to haul myself up. Right? Yeah, presumably. Unless you uh, want to take a look around from here. <laughs> you are still fairly high, hence the desperate position. Oh. I think I do. I think <laughs> I do. Yes! <laughs> Let's go for it. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. Okay, so this will be a uh, desperate limited <laughs> okay that's the worst <laughs> wait but don't you get an effect reduction as well i may like, desperate yeah. nothing um so you got lonely and you've got stretched i don't think either of those necessarily apply to looking around that doesn't okay. impair your vision yeah fair uh, i am you gonna uh push myself to raise my effect to standard. How many stress do you have? I have only four now. Okay. I haven't been stressing. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <sighs> Desperate standard. Yep. 
this. Oh no! <sighs> Look at that six. Look yes. at that six. There you go. <sighs> All right. So, uh, let's see. What does standard information get you? This isn't even for you trying to pull yourself up. This is just you <laughs> <Nope>. looking around. <laughs> okay. So. You take XP on a, a, a desperate roll? Yes, I did. I took inside XP. Fantastic. All right. Uh, so there's two things you notice from up here. What that you can see from the scaffolding of the bell tower. Uh... The first is you see the dragon splayed out in the market square. And you can see along its side that there are uh, like burn marks on it. Like burn marks is maybe not the right wording. There's blackened spots along its light blue coloring. Mm. along its uh, carbon feathers but it also doesn't seem to have been harmed by them and you recall comparing that to the scene of the fight because you're the officer and so you can pick up details and think about how they interact with each other sure. as you were on your way in the running battle between Lady Elreth and the dragon. And so what you're able to infer is that Starfall, Lady Elreth's Avi, mm -hmm. has a variety of weapons because clearly it has at least some kind of energy weapon and also it eventually felled the dragon with blunt force trauma. So it's clearly got at least those two weapons at its disposal. Mm -hmm. And it had enough power to make those count, well, not the energy weapon, but make the blunt force trauma count through the toughness of the dragon's hide. So you get a little bit of information about Starfall. Okay. The second thing you notice that is perhaps a bit more immediate is that these two Avis piloted by Rites of the Ascent monks mm -hmm. are clearly not being anywhere near as careful about the placement of their feet as they could be and appear to be deliberately stepping on nearby buildings. <laughs> And just putting their feet through walls as they move around trying to fix the cathedral. Fucking monks. You do recall that they mentioned that once this is all over, they could rebuild the town. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Um... I would like to pull my... to get down from here. <laughs> Okay. How are you going to do that? Uh, with style and diploma. Um, <laughs> no, I think I am going to... Um, like, I'm going to try and swing myself and land on some, like, other close-by bit of scaffolding that, you know, like, has a platform on it, so... So I'm no longer just hanging by the edge of my fingers. <laughs> All right. Because of your stretched, this yeah. will be desperate limited. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like this. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Is there a devil's bargain in here you can give me? Uh, what are you planning on rolling? Prowl. Prowl, okay. Uh, Devil's Bargain. Consort. <laughs> Sweet it. talk, the scaffolding. <laughs> hmm. So you come here often? I'd scaffolding a drink. Uh, 
Uh, one of the rights of the ascent pilots mm -hmm. is going to notice the situation <laughs> you're in and report the incompetence of the squad back to HQ, and so you'll lose trust with the Celestial Myriad. No, no. Um, You're already I, so... Can I assist? Um, I, I'm curious as to how you're going to assist from inside a dragon. <laughs> I want to do this. Pilot the dragon. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a Ratatouille mech now. Um, oh, God. No, I want I want to do a flashback um, of uh, somewhere along, like either from uh, Hulinton, if we have a cathedral in Hulinton, um, or uh, or when we were getting into Wander, um, I think that uh, Spade um, or, or that demon accidentally triggered an info dump from a spade about, like, c cathedral architecture. <laughs> and, um, like, talking about, like, how how these are built and, like, how they used to be built uh, versus, like, how, how like, modern um, uh, modern techniques sort of mesh with, with old traditions and it was, like, an hour of, uh, of, of Demon's life. That's blessed. <laughs> So, so how are you assisting with... Oh, you... So you said Spade, Spade was explaining all this? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, sorry. I think I, I misheard you saying Scratch. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, all right. That'll be... Let's see. I'm going to say it's a one-stress flashback. All right. In addition to the cost of the assist. Oh, jeez. And what's your connection with Demon? I have uh, two with, with Demon, so. All right, so two benefits. Uh, what do you want? Um, I could use improved... Eff <laughs> I could use improved effect and uh, one extra die. All right. <laughs> Just give me improved everything. I need it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um. Okay. So I'm gonna mark XP. And this will be desperate standard. Yep. <sighs> Getting that XP though. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh no! That's a oh, one. No. Okay. What a oh. Wait, do I have one prowl? Yeah, I do. Okay, never mind. I was like, maybe I have two. Well, <laughs> if you have one prowl and you took a die. Yeah. Oh, I did. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Sorry. Just, I just roll, roll one more one d6. More die. Yep. Oh, oh <laughs> that's a six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was oh my goodness okay <laughs> I forgot about the assist <laughs> I remembered the position so I think uh, what happens is you try and like gymnast swing yourself onto a platform sure and but it's, I am no gymnast and it's just like you just barely get your fingers onto it and then because mm -hmm. it's rain slicked you slip and fall Ooh. And you're, like, terrified for a second as you r remember, like, how far down it is. And then you just land on, like, a platform below it that was, like, just below your feet. <laughs> so you just drop, like, two inches. Nice. Nice. God, big mood. So you're just okay. standing on this platform. And you're, uh, you're fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that's it for me for now. I would like to return to Hopper. <laughs> Go back into your safe and sooty mech. Yes. <laughs> okay. Don't die. Spade. Hey, what's up? Speaking of in uh, warm, cozy places. <laughs> Gross. Gross. <laughs> Spade, you are inside of the dragon. You've worked your way deeper into the bowels of the beast, searching for... Intest uh, internal organ damage. 
intestinal damage. Yes. You've managed to <laughs> find your way to the source of the bleeding. Every so often, the beast coughs, and a gout of blood rushes past you, pushing you back. It's not unlike w trying to wade through water when that happens. So you're very glad for your uh, dissolving environmental suit, <laughs> which is halfway dissolved at this point. Uh huh. What are you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna go <laughs> uh, stitch up that that bleeding, or at least uh, stop it with the uh, cool medicines that I have in my pack. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just going to get in there and uh, doctor. Um, so. All right. So this will be uh, risky limited. Unless okay. you have anything to improve the effect. Um, well, I'm going to I'm going to use the bandolier again. Um, the with the, the, the drugs that, that are in it. Um, I forget the word for the um, the, like a coagulant, I guess. Yep. Yeah. And uh, is it like a, a specific wound here? Is it like a lot of like bruising? Like I think you can definitely uh, using from your hmm. sounds like you're gathering information. <laughs> oh my god! Which yes. is a setup roll. Yeah, I'm just scared of spending too much time in here for <laughs> aforementioned reasons. Yes. Um, so. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to uh, use Analyze because I want to use um, a remote vehicle, co vehicle control to uh, talk to my mech, which is right outside. Um, holding down, holding down the uh, dragon. So. Yeah. Remember that remote vehicle control gives you reduced effect. I mean, I already have reduced effect, so. Yeah. Um, oh jeez. So how would? Let me think. Okay. Possibly the difference here is that like. Okay. Oh, so here, here's here's what it is. Mm -hmm. Since you're using analyze, you can push. Um, the magpie instead of yourself, of course, by spending fuel. Mm. And remember that we established in the previous session that radio signals do not go in and out of this thing's flesh very well. That was part of the reason that you had the whole rope set up. Right. A very successful rope setup. Uh, do you have a long range transmitter declared? Oh, okay. You might have done that. I don't recall. No, I did not. Okay. Yeah, I should have. <laughs> so yes, unless you push uh, the magpie to have greater effect, this will be zero effect analyze only because the you can't communicate properly with the magpie and it can't properly reach you. Okay. And of course, you're going to have to declare the uh, remote vehicle control as well. Yeah, I'm going to declare that. I'm going to push the, the magpie um, because I have two in scan and one in analyze and absolutely nothing in study or survey so this is <laughs> working my strengths here um so that gets me up to limited is that correct yes okay um yeah that feels like the way to go so i'm just gonna roll that all right risky limited That's a, that's a six. That's, that's a six. Well done. Okay. <laughs> so the analytic suite of the magpie shows you that there's a lot of bruising on this creature, which you can't do too much about, but it's also able to pinpoint a spot 
where one of the creature's smaller bones, which is to say that it's about the like thickness of your forearm, not your forearm bones, the whole forearm, uh, broke and pierced one of its internal organs. Oh no. So you will have improved effect for treating this wound because you know where the wound is and what the nature of the wound is. Cool. Uh, okay. So I'm going to use the coagulant to patch, to uh, stem the bleeding and try to patch up the hole in the organ. Um, and then I need, I need to splint that, uh, that bone somehow. And I'm looking at my gear list and trying to figure out how to do that. Um, <laughs> I believe those will be two different roles, to be clear. Yes. So let's do the um, the first one, which I know how to do. <laughs> the coagulant? Yes. Okay. Um, which is still using Doctor, I think. All right. So you'll have... Uh, you'll have great effect because of your gathering of information. Great. So yeah. risky great. Risky great. Please, please, please. Don't screw me over, old Teddy. That's a five. Hey. That's acceptable. Hey, that's, a, that's acceptable. That's an A minus. Yeah. So you managed to, uh, you pull the bone out of the organ. It takes a great deal of force just because of the scale of things. And you apply the coagulant to the damaged organ. It seals shut with the f we said it was a foam right like a yeah yeah so the wound seals shut with the foam and now you've just got this broken rib it's hard to tell what it is from here dragon anatomy is weird yeah there's also that it's probably a rib probably rib-esque yes <laughs> a riblet uh <laughs> So you've got that to deal with. However, a risky All right, so consequence I'm... can be two ticks on a clock. No. And so I think you realize after applying that coagulant that the pierced organ was in fact part of the beast's digestinal, uh, digestion tract. Oh, no. And oh, that's so oh, its no. uh, stomach acids have eaten through the suit. So well, you still y you your helmet is still sealed enough that you don't have to worry about oxygen at this time. But uh, you're now in a desperate position. Because uh, okay. you are unprotected inside of a dragon's in, uh, gastrointestinal system. <laughs> that was like a success on a grate. Oh my god. Um. Yeah, it's, I mean, it, even if you... Yeah, okay, so I think that you can tell that even if you don't treat this broken bone... The dragon will survive. It might not have great quality of life. And who knows if it's going, like, how soon it'll be able to leave the, the space in town that it has occupied. But it, it'll live. You, you've ensured its life, if not its well-being, at this okay. point. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's worth splint... I my thinking was that like if I don't leave it if I leave it this way then it'll just puncture the, the organ again but uh, if I do that then I will die and that's bad for me um, consider dragon pet yeah well like we can we can go back in with actual equipment and not just me and my optimism um, fair later 
if if this dragon cares about that bone <laughs> enough to ask. So, yeah, I'm gonna do two quick tugs on that rope. <laughs> <laughs> oh! So you do two quick tugs on the rope. Oh, I'm so and sorry. <laughs> there, it's just all give. There is no pullback on it. Oh. You just oh, yanks further. There is no resistance. What do you do? Uh, I'm gonna... <laughs> um, I'm going to, uh, try and use the, um, the, the magpie, because I've, I've already activated its remote, remote control. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna see if I can't just, like, move a hand over to, to like, pin the rope down or grab the rope. Probably pin. That's probably easier to do than I'm sorry. Doing this very small rope. Listen, it's it's not fine. I'm actually very upset, but it, we'll get through it. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. So remember that due to the signal loss, you're gonna have to push the magpie to uh -huh. to get limited effect. Oh jeez. So this will be limit desperate limited. Why desperate? Like, what's the desperate position, though? Being digested. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit time-sensitive. Yeah, I did think about that. Uh, fortunately, I have two in Manipulate. What's good? Yay. Yay! I'm so scared. <gasps> Those are threes. Those, Those are, are threes. two threes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Oh, no. Hmm. That's for it limited. Let's see. I could think okay. of it. Okay. I'm not going to stress it because I would like to live. Please continue. <laughs> okay. Uh. So first off, you're going to take level 2 harm burned. <sighs> yeah, that, that tracks. Yep. Uh, I'm going to try to resist all of this, but yeah. The other oh, consequence no. that happens, you feel as you had to move the magpie to try and, uh, try and grab this rope, and you're dealing with a weak connection as is. You feel the beast shift with you inside of it as it starts to try and work its way free of the magpie. Oh, so, I'm, I'm going to start a clock. Four tick clock. And I'll just get rid of this dissolve. Actually, I'll just repurpose the dissolving suit. <laughs> oh. So it has one tick on it, Ooh. and it is becoming. It's becoming dragon leaves. If it leaves, I go with it. That's not good. No. No. <laughs> I don't know where this track is going. Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't get the rope, and also things are worse. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Please don't hate me. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to hate you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you would be fine. <laughs> you left me in a dragon. <laughs> I thought it would all work okay. Why are you so optimistic in my abilities? I don't know. You seem competent. You were the one that went into the dragon in the first place. I assumed you knew what you were doing. Be a nice, easy rescue mission. No combat, no fighting. Just like, oh, what was Ko thinking? Oh. What was Tower thinking? Um, okay, alright, well, we're gonna, we're gonna, it's- You can beat me up later. 
no point in panicking. Just gonna take a, a breath. Of your limited oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> and, uh... I still have plenty of, of points in manipulate and maneuver. Those are good. Um... <sighs> Can hmm. I see the magpie moving? Yeah, from where you are, you can spot the... Oh, yeah, you're back in Hopper now, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so you, you can see the magpie is sort of moving erratically. Mm. It's, it's arms you know, are kind of flailing a little bit. And it, it, it's like someone trying to find their glasses in the dark, just the hand, like... Picking up and, and dropping down the ground, like patting, looking for something. You can also yeah. see its other limbs kind of uh, twitching and loosening their grip on the dragon, which is trying to get to its feet. Sure. Um, so I can't remember last session. Did we? Kn do I know that <laughs> you are in the dragon? No. <laughs> no, you oh, aren't aware no. of this plan. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, then that's, I mean, I was just going to radio um, and say, like, hey, it looks like um, a Pitchfork Tower. It looks like uh, Spade's having trouble. Spade, uh, come in. What's going on with the dragon? Oh, jeez. Okay. So um, you don't get anything back from Spade. There's of course. Just, yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, can Spade, I... Spade, answer me. Spade, come in. Over. Um, can I just radio in and just Spade? say... Uh, no, like, I, I'm just gonna be, like, running, just like, <sighs> I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> running back to the obby. <laughs> just, or, no, not even running back to the obby, just running back to the dragon. Without your obby? <laughs> yeah, no. Oh my god. It's a bad <laughs> idea, but, you know, the drama of it all. Alright, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna Pit rush over there and hopper. <laughs> Pitchfork, what's your reaction? Oh no, I. <sighs> Spade, come in. Pitchfork, what is the situation? Uh, uh t tower. <laughs> um. Uh, I'm like yeah, debating I, I, right I, now because I think you'll find out when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> I want to run back, but at the same time, I don't want to leave Hannah with this. Take Hannah. Yeah, I, I want to grab Hannah and drag her with us, but I don't know if she's going to let me do that. <laughs> she is definitely not going to let you <laughs> kidnap her. <laughs> or Lead arrest her. Away. Lead away. Kidnap is a strong word, Austin. <laughs> Would taking my helmet off help at all? <laughs> um... Hmm. Yeah, hmm. I don't... Maybe if you, like, try and make a case, but it's been years since she's seen you, right? Like, you were a little kid when yeah. she got drafted. And now you're, like, what, in your early 20s? 18 something like that you yeah i think you said you were 20 yeah 20 ish yeah so it's been like uh 15 years oh my god that long Ma ma oh. maybe not 15 years but like at least 10 yeah. you yeah. definitely look completely different oh, if you want to try and do a setup action you would be in a controlled position to do so Um, I'm gonna tell Tower to go on ahead, and I'm gonna be right behind them, hopefully, and try. <sighs> yeah, first of all, take off the helmet. Okay, oh, can I just God. can I just sort of radio in and say like, okay, don't let them steal my Avi. Um. <laughs> Good lord, okay. Um, <laughs> Look, I'm a disaster gay. 
I don't have any points in people skills except command, so this is gonna be great. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Hannah, I, it's it's Keiko from from Hollington. Do you, do you remember me? Oh jeez. <laughs> Uh, okay, what are you going to roll? Hurts my soul. Uh, <laughs> Over the radio, just hear, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> is, is this consort or sway? This this is something I'm like, I, my... it doesn't matter either way because they're both zero. <laughs> I think this would probably be consort because yeah, you're not trying to convince like them. You're just sort of being open with them. Okay. With her. Uh, I will for sure push myself here. <laughs> get at least get at least one die. Um, and yeah, position and effect. Uh, controlled. Con hmm. It's like controlled standard. Okay. Taking off your helmet and revealing yourself helps. Okay, 1d6 controlled standard. Oh. oh, that's a two. Hmm? That's not great. Okay, so do you want to, uh,. Push on ahead and try consort again, or at risky position. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Um. Uh. Hmm. How does she react? That makes this risky. Uh, she narrows her eyes at you, and she says, "You lying myriad sack of shit." Who do you think you are invoking my friend's names? God damn it! What? Oh. Okay, um... So I'm gonna need to push myself again for a die. Mm. Uh, can I... I have no clue how to assist. Especially since you've oh. left. Fuck, would I assist here? Uh, mm, fuck. This will be risky standard again. Yeah. I think this might be up to... Yeah. I really want to be able to help here. Uh, I... Okay, can I declare... This is just like flavor stuff, but documents as in like that journal I was talking about before we left. Hmm. And just like show it to her. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. can you can do that. Um Yeah, I don't think that would be enough to give great effect. No. But there are fine documents. <laughs> 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 we do have fine documents. <laughs> Okay. Uh, 1d6. Mm. Oh my god! Woo! That's Woo! a 6. That's a 6. <laughs> Alright. So, how do you show off the journal to her? Um, I think there is definitely an entry where she... It was it was something involving the two of us and probably Layla too. Um, I think we I think we skipped like a like a Sunday school type thing that we were supposed to be in. And like the two of them were older, so they just kinda like I just kinda tagged along and didn't know what was going on. And we like ran out into the fields and kind of hid all day. <laughs> Like, we we knew people were looking for us, but, like, you know, we were kids and, like, didn't think about how much of a, like, problem that was, actually, that we caused. 
<laughs> and we all got scolded at the end of the day, but it was a really fun day. That sounds wonderful. Okay, so you pointed out and she softens. She is clearly remembering it. It's actually you, Keiko. What? What are you doing here? We came to help. That's really all it is. And you're a soldier? It's a long story. God. This is, these drafts are why I'm fighting again. What are you doing with the Celestial Myriad? People like them are the ones who drafted me and all of our friends. Our, our group's not like that. We're, we're trying to find people. We're trying to return the dead. We're not. And rebuild towns in the church's image. That's... She says, you know what, this, is, this isn't the time. And she pulls out a smartphone, which is like obviously a burner. She flips you a message in the AR, not having uh, your number, but just through this sort of quote unquote f physical space of the AR. And it's a number. And she says, when this is over, we need to talk. I think the burden could use you. And so you wanted to, uh, this was all a setup action <laughs> as a reminder. <laughs> so do you want improved, uh, well, you def you're already... You're back to controlled. Uh, See, so you want effect to try and bring her along somewhere to help you with whatever you're doing. Um, that was my initial thought, but like, I, I feel like she's not as likely to get in our way now. Would that be safe to say? Yeah, I would. I would say so. I think you can sort of tell that the opportunity and the moment have both passed. Her mob has gone off to escort the medics. She, what she does is probably not going to be interfere with the four of you, but Her being part of the burden, she's not going to stop agitating for removal of off-worlders. Yeah. One step at a time. Um, I think I'm just going to roll Prowl to get over there. Like, I'm just going to turn around and try to catch up to Tower. Okay. Uh, Tower, you're also rushing over there. Um, yep. let's see. Yeah, between the fires and the rubble mm -hmm. and the distance, and you're both on foot, <laughs> this is going to be a prowl, and I think it's probably a group action with tower leading. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, good, I have two in prowl. <laughs> So this will be a uh let's see. This is gonna be risky great. The risk comes from the fires and unstable buildings. How many people are in this group action? Just the two of you. 
Just me. Oh, good. I was scared I was going to trauma out if y'all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm also one away. I'm not one away, but like, you know, it could, it's probably going to happen today. <laughs> probably going to happen today. And what is this group action for again? This is for the two of them to get back to the dragon. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, okay. I'd probably get reduced for this, though, because of harm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what are your harms? Would humiliate and reduce this? In the humiliate does not apply. What's uh, pitchforks? Booted and bruised. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that applies. Uh, so, let's see, it was risky great. Yeah. So now it's risky standard. The both of us are just for... You, just for you have the same effect. And okay. position with a group action. So just racing standard then. Yep. Alrighty. That's double sixes. Oh my god. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I'll take the stress. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Tower got a crit and <laughs> Pitchfork got a one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, eat that one stress. Yep. But also, you got a crit, so you have improved effect. Mm. Okay. So, let's see. You, you navigate a perfect path through the rubble and the flame and the crowds and the dead and the injured. Right to the market. You get there before the beast has even risen to its feet. The magpie is still wrapped around it, though perhaps not for long. I'm just, I think I'm just gonna grab at the rope and just try to pull. <laughs> like, at this point, I don't care about the internal damage of the dragon. I just don't want my friend to die. Fair. Because of my bad fuck up. So, okay. you know. Pitchfork will show up shortly thereafter. Okay. Actually, Can no, Pitchfork is also on scene, but you you beat her to the, the site thanks to that uh, crit of yours. Woo! You're able to communicate the clear path. Okay. Can I also have gotten over there to assist? Yeah, absolutely. You're over there in Hopper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does Hopper have hands? Well, I have been, like, helping with the cathedral, so I, I think... Like, I don't... I pictured I, you as doing just, like, heavy lifting of pallets and stuff. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, okay, in that case, because I was like, I don't know. Like, I don't think so, but, yeah. Um, you do have hard points. I do, but I don't have anything... I don't have hands to declare. There is a rope. There is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Tie the rope to... Uh, to Hopper. Since neither of them have a man RV. Yeah. Because I make good choices. <laughs> Did I leave Bert here, though? Uh. Or is Bert back? Where did you leave Bert? That is a good question. We didn't do things for those, did we? Got Marcus for everyone else, but not the Max. Yeah. Yeah, I think you, uh, left Bert in the. Oh, because Bert was helping hold down the the magpie with the anchor system. Initially. Oh, and yeah. then I think I went to clear rubble, and then and then I think I went on foot to go to the the, the doctors hell? beyond stars. So I think I I think Bert would have been somewhere like on the way back. Okay. I'll allow you to have Bert since uh, you're still playing off that crit. So, Bert and Hopper are on scene. So is the magpie, sort of. <laughs> Ish. The mantis is elsewhere. <laughs> I've made some choices today. All right. What are y'all doing? <laughs> um, I think we're taking a break. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it is uh, 720. Yeah. This is a good moment to take a break. <laughs> the worst. <laughs>
I I don't need this. Good call. Sorry, I'll just I'll just ruminate. I'll just yep. simmer in these juices. It's fine. <laughs> Based, you might say. <laughs> All right. So everyone, uh, we will be back in a little while. Thank you for waiting.